Okay. What's up, Gemini? <clears throat> this is Mystic Virgo, 4444. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. I just wanted to uh, remind you all to also hit the bell button so you can be reminded when I post some new videos. I'm going to ask the universe now about your love life for uh, September of 2019. So, Gemini, this is a love reading for you for September of 2019. What is going on in the love life for the Gemini for September of 2019? Okay, first card that fell out I have here is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. First card that fell out. Okay. I'm also going to lose to use my love angels deck here in the end of the reading to see exactly what else is going in for you for the uh, month of September. Love reading, September, Gemini, September 2019. Focused, uh, it's probably someone who is focused on a relationship. Well, focused on money, something about a relationship it has to do with money here. Page of, page of Cups, somebody is uh, not as offering much as the other person in the relationship dynamic here for you, Gemini. Gemini. Love reading September 2019. But it's going to change. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Will of Fortune. <clears throat> Some blessings. Very, very something's going to change. Somebody is coming out of this. Uh, it's like a. Maybe a. I don't want to say a codependent kind of relationship for you, Gemini, but more so. Uh, somebody, one person is doing more than the other person. That's probably a younger person in this relationship dynamic. Um, a lot of arguing about money. The devil. Something's going to change. It's going to change. It's going to get better for you, Gemini. It's going to get better. Okay? It's going to get better for you, Gemini. Somebody probably also had to have bats in their attic. <laughs> Maybe bats in their attic or, or, or had a do-in or something to do with, with bats. Uh, maybe you need to be careful. There are some bats in your neighborhood that weren't nice bats. Um, they have rabies. So if you are, are near some kind of, of, of home or some kind of area where there are bats, the bats aren't nice. They're rabies. They have rabies. Okay. Be careful of bats for the Gemini for September. And this may be happening now to, Gem to Gemini. Something about bats. Okay. Um, just be careful of bats. Um, and, and if you go somewhere like in a dark cave or if you go uh, maybe hiking or something, just be careful with bats. And make sure you, you uh, keep candles with you, keep lights or flares or something with you if you go somewhere uh, camping or, or be careful of bats. That's all I'm getting, bats. Be careful, okay? But the money situation is going to get better for you in, in, in September, start to get better for you in September here, Gemini, for you and the person you're in a relationship with. It's going to be more balanced here. The temperance is not going to be keep. It's not going to keep you up forever. It's not going to the overall energy. I don't always do my overall energy at the bottom of the deck that some people do. <clears throat> I want to get an overall energy here. Well, I have a nice cups too, but give me an overall energy for this reading, for the love reading for September for the Gemini. Overall energy, love reading. I have the page of wands. So okay, so even though you all are going through this. Uh, this dynamic in your relationship, Gemini, where there's some uh, conf confrontation and arguing over money because somebody is not giving as much as the other person is uh, and you're talking about it. Not only are you talking about it, you're all screaming and yelling at each other about it, Gemini. A lot of uh, a lot of backbiting. But somebody needs to understand that the other person is only doing his best, the best that they can do, and that's probably what you're saying. I can only do so much. You can't squeeze blood out of a turnip, turnip, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to make this relationship better for both of us. There is going to be some kind of balance for you here in the relationship. It's going to balance. It's going to even itself out. The relationship between the money situation is going to even itself out for you here, Gemini. It's keeping you up at night. Both of you all is keeping you up at night. The bills are you're worried about. Bills are coming in. Stuff isn't getting paid, but you're thinking about it. You're all, you all know that something about is about to change here, and, and it's going to change. There's going to be a situation where one 
of you or the other, the person who is not bringing in more money, it's going to start changing for this person. This person is probably going to get a better job, if not a better paying job. They're going to get another job. So they're going to have two jobs or whatever. OK. And once they're able to to give more, because there's, this is going to be a blessing for you in the relationship, in the collective for whoever this is for, it's, they're, they're going to get better here because they love you. I care about this person. I love this person. I want to make this person. I want to make this work. And this person may be younger than you, or you may be younger than them in the relationship. But the person who is younger in the relationship is the person that's bringing in less money. But that's going to change. And when they make, when they bring this money in, they're going to be a page of cups. <clears throat> but they're also going to be a page of ones. They're going to give it to you. Whatever they're making extra, they're going to give it to you, which they probably already do. If if give you their money, you know. Um, but it's not enough. But that's going to change, okay? Because they're working hard at this. You got to give them that, Gemini. You got to give them this. They are working hard at pleasing you. They're working so hard at pleasing you that, that, that it's hard for them to please themselves because they concentrate on making you happy. And not only are making you happy, they're concentrating. They're really, really working hard at trying to do better in the relationship. They don't want you to have to do more. But right now, this is the way it has to be for them. OK, they know that that you keep that you're being kept up at night, but they're getting ready to get a blessing here. Something in this relationship is going to change. It's going to flip. They're going to be the, the breadwinner in the relationship. OK, and it's, they're not out messing around or anything that you're accusing them of doing. They're out working their butts off to take care of you, to, to take care of this relationship. They're not doing anything foolish. OK, so that's something that you need to wipe from your mind or they need to wipe from their mind. However, it resonates with you, whatever side you fit on. OK, it's going to be a situation to where the roles are going to change. They're going to stand up for themselves. They're going to stand up to you. It's going to balance out here in the relationship. The relationship is going to balance out. OK, they love you. They care about you. And they know that you give more money in the relationship because you have a better job. You make more money. You know, that's just the way it is right now. But that's not it's not always going to be that way. They're going to make some major changes in their life. They want to make some major changes in the relationship. And this is something they want you to realize. It's not always going to be the penny and stuff that they bring in. They're going to they're going to change. Things are going to change in your relationship. Your relationship is going to change. It's like the wheel of fortune is finally turning. It's like this person hit it big. It's like they hit it big on the wheel of fortune or they hit it big in the lottery or something that they're doing. They got a better paying job or whatever, and they hit it big. It's just like pay dirt. They're finally at that point to where they're going to stand up and be the person who you already know that they are to be. They are who they're going to be. The king of cups. I have a king of sports. I have the, the hangman. Right now, they're, it's in a balance, and they know that it's hurting their relationship. Clarify this tower core. Clarify this power for they know that if they don't get their shit together, Gemini, you're gonna break up with them, you're gonna leave them, or vice versa. Or hell, they may just leave you, you know, if they don't think that they're good enough for you or able to provide for you in the relationship that they want. Right now it's it's a hanged up, messed up situation, but they know that something is going to change, okay? They know that something is and something has to change because it's tearing up your relationship right now. It's causing a tower moment in your relationship. But this tower moment is like a healthy part of the relationship because it's making these this person who is making less money it's making them stand on their own two feet okay it's not it's, it's allowing them to let them know that you're not playing games because you're gonna cut this person out if they don't get their shit together or they're gonna leave if they feel they can't get this shit get their shit together for you okay somebody in the relationship also is very very judgmental and not in a good way in a way that that's tearing the other person down so whether it's you or them somebody needs to stop the criticism because this person really is doing the best that they can they hold on to what little it is they have so they can put it in the household they can't really do for themselves because they they are more concerned with putting their money into the household and this is something that they need you to understand that they're doing the very best that they can possibly do with what very little that they have coming in this is about to change because something happened to 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 cause a tower moment. This tower moment is shaking stuff up. It's shaking stuff up for the relationship because this relationship was, was falling down. This relationship was was being broken. You all were probably up on a way to breaking up if you already haven't broken up with this person. This thing has something happened. Maybe the relationship, the tower moment came because you both felt this relationship ending and something had to change. Somebody's not going to hold on anymore to, to the mean, meaningless of this relationship. Somebody has, has shifted into overdrive because of this tower moment. And they know they got they got to pull a rabbit out of their hat to fix this relationship. They know that they have to bring more money into this relationship. They know that they love you and you know that you love them too, but you got to give this person a chance. You know that this person is more than capable of being a good 
breadwinner, but you have to give this person this opportunity, Gemini. You have to let this person grow. You have to let this person do what they need to do because you know what? They are tired of, of, of you judging them in the wrong way. They are tired of you putting them down. They're not doing anything wrong. This person loves your dirty draws. This person will do anything to make you happy, and they are going to do anything to make you happy. They're going to pull the rabbit out of their hat. And because they're going to pull the rabbit out of their hat here, Gemini, they're going to give you the world. I'm ready to give her my world. I'm ready to give him my universe. This person, you have made this person cry. Gemini. Somebody has made the other person in the relationship literally cry. Okay? Because you've you've hurt this person's ego. You've hurt this person's um the totality of who this person is on the inside. You have hurt, you have broken this person down, Gemini. Very, very judgmental. Very, 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 very judgmental and they feel you're cutting words either you cut words you, you said cut words to them or they said cut words to you but somebody has made the other person in the relationship feel worthless okay time is out for this you all are at a tower moment in your relationship i wouldn't be surprised if, if this person found another job helped you took care of those bills and then left because they couldn't take any more of the judgment in the relationship whether it's you or them take it how it resonates but this person is getting ready to to, to blow up this person has, has pulled more than one rabbit out of their hat. They've done exactly what you told them they were going to do. They've, they've thrived. They've, they've overcome a lot of different issues in their life with you, but they've also overcome a lot of different issues on their own. And this person's not going to keep on letting you talk to them any kind of way, or you're not going to let them talk, and talk to you any kind of way. Somebody's going to let loose, and somebody's going to let you know how they really feel about you. Take it how it resonates, okay? Somebody's going to really speak their mind. And it's going to get to the point to where am I really, am I going to take you back after we break up, after you didn't put me down so many times before here, Gemini? Am I going to, to accept your apology? Am I going to leave you after I found this job or got this connection or got this lottery ticket, won this money, however it is, some kind of dowry, some kind of uh, uh, inheritance or whatever it is, somebody, somebody's it's going to be some more money coming into the household. It's going to be some more money coming into the household. Okay. If they're going to choose to either stay with you, Gemini, or they're going to walk away. Because of your mouth, somebody's mouth, justice, money, <laughs> pentacles, look, mm, mm. overall, okay, so some justice is going to be done here, okay, some justice is going to be done over some money situation, concentrate, you know, you, you know you want more money, and I'm getting chills, you know you want more money to come into this relationship, Gemini, somebody's doing more than the other, however it resonates, there's not enough money right now coming into the relationship, so it's causing pain and heartache and everything, it's probably stopping wedding vows and wedding, a hot fire, higher form of a commitment too, you know, and you think this person's being sneaky. This person is doing exactly what you told them they needed to do. They're working their ass off to get these pinnacles for you, Gemini. Working their ass off. They're not doing anything wrong. But they're holding on what they want to say to you. They're holding they, their peace. They're holding their peace. Or you're holding, somebody's holding their peace in the situation. Because they really want to say something that you're not going to like. Okay? But they're, they're working so hard to please you. To keep the situation from being hurt, to keep the other person in a relationship from feeling like they're, they've been hurt in their life. They've been hurt so much, Gemini. Been so hurt. Maybe it's two Geminis in a relationship, you know? Maybe both of you all have been through some, some stuff in your relationship, okay? This is just supposed to be a love reading, and it is a love reading, but I want to use my Kipper deck to see what kind of other information that's involving money I need to say to you all here. What else do I need to say to the Gemini for September of 2019? Love, Gemini, 2017, what else? Working hard, toil and labor. Working so hard at this relationship, Gemini. Give them a chance, okay? Give them a chance. That's all you have to do. Be a little bit more open, okay? Be a little bit more uh, less dramatic, okay? They're doing the best that they can, the very best that they can, okay? What else is it that the Gemini needs to know about their love life? for September of 2019. What else? A lot of work. Bad health. You're making this person sick to the stomach. This person is is doing so much, but you don't realize all the stuff that they're doing. Or they don't realize everything that you're doing. Now, take whatever side you resonate with here, Gemini, okay? Somebody is working so hard and the other person is failing to see it. Okay? So the house, home, it's messed up. Not, not a lot of peace in your home, okay? Not a lot of peace in your home right now because it's so somebody's working so hard to please the other person and the other person just refusing to see it. 
okay? And they feel imprisoned in this relationship because of this, okay? They feel like a thief in their own house because they're not able to provide for, for you the way that they want to. They feel like they're being treated like a stranger, okay? Because they aren't able to do what they need to do right now. I want to close this reading out here with the love angel set for the Gemini. What is it that I need to know? What do I need to tell the Gemini for the love life of uh, September of 2019? For the lovers. Love life. Gemini. September 2019. What else? Gemini 2019. September. Attraction. You all are still attracted to each other. I think one person is older than the other. And just because you feel that you're older than that person, you can talk to that person any kind of way. But realize that that person is a human being just like you. And there's some deception going on. It's not deception. You probably think they're being deceptive, but they're doing exactly what you're doing. They're taking care of home. Why is you taking care of home? So take it how it resonates. A bunch of, a lot of uh, animosity, unnecessary animosity in this relationship. Gemini. Okay? And let go of the control issues. That's what it all boils down to, Gemini. Control. Complete control. Heal your issues together as a couple and work these things out. These things out. Even if you have to go out and get some advice from your friends and family or get a therapist or a relationship therapist or whatever. But work it out because you all love each other. You court, This person courted you the old-fashioned kind of way. Why give this up? Why let the, your ego keep speaking for itself? Let go of the let go of your control issues. Or they need to let go of their control issues. But somebody's going to get to the point where they're going to get tired. And they're going to tell you in an email or a text message or a divorce decree, I want to end this. If you don't want this relationship to end here, Gemini, fix it. Let this person do what they need to do to take care of home, to take care of family, okay? They're not a false person. Don't keep telling this person, you're cheating, you're doing this to me, you're doing that to me. They're taking care of home like you wanted them to, like they want to. They're not the false person in a relationship, okay? They think about you, and they know that your expectations are high. Or you think about them, and you know that their expectations are high, okay? Just know that this person loves you, and they're doing the very best that they can possibly do do but they don't need to be belittled you don't need to be belittled either somebody in this relationship is really really um being judgmental okay about finances and about career somebody's being very very judgmental and if you want this person in your life here at gemini like i know you do like i feel you do let it go let go of the control issues okay this person is doing exactly what you what you told them to do. They are fixing their finances and they are fixing their career. This person is going to get ready to get a, a huge money, some money coming into their lives. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. It's going to be a huge blessing for this person because this person has worked and worked and they're going to get whatever it is that God is blessing them with. And it's going to be their decision ultimately whether or not they want to keep you in their life. Okay, but you all got to reconcile this. You all have to fix this. Fix it. Because it's going to get to the point to where you can't fix it anymore, okay? Somebody has to let go of their control. Let go of the control, Gemini. Or they need to let go, let go of the control, however it resonates with you, okay? Because you have true love. And you have romantic feelings for this person. And somebody needs to express their love, okay? And you all need to get to know each other all better all over again and fix this. If you choose to, to be with this person, fix it. Get to know each other all better all over again. Get to, to these new perspectives. Know that this person is not out to hurt you. Know that they're, you're not out to hurt them. You all need to work together and fix this relationship if it's going to last. Because it's going to get to the to the point here, Gemini, whether you or the other person in the relationship is going to leave all together because they're, they're going to think that, that they're not worthy of this relationship. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be balanced out. It needs to be understood. The, the judgment needs to stop on both ends. You all need to fix this if you're going to be happy for 2017. For, I'm sorry, for 2019. Maybe you were together since 2017. But anyway, you need to fix this. There's some kind of, of anniversary, some kind of huge event coming up for both of you. Are. Fix it. Okay? Fix this if you want to be together. But this person who is getting pressured is going to want to leave this relationship if it can't be fixed. So if you love this person, Gemini, if they love you, something got to fix. Somebody's got to fix something in this relationship. 